Hi guys, my name is Devos Pass. Thanks for tuning in. And today I'm going to be talking about six games that I am really excited about. All right. Now, 2016 has been one hell of a year for games. There's been games like Far Cry Primal, Doom, and Overwatch. 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 Oh, Overwatch. Can't stop Overwatch. hearing about that Overwatch. game. All in all, a really good year though. Now, even though there might have been a ton of games that have released this year. There are a few that haven't, and those are the ones that I'm really excited about. All right, so let's start. At number six is Watch Dogs 2. Now, when Watch Dogs 1 released, I remember the hype was real. Everyone was talking about Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs. And it was, it was great, the hype was great, but I was also kind of skeptical. I really wanted the game to meet my expectations and I was so glad that it did. It did not disappoint. It was actually a breath of fresh air. I got to be a hacker. Now it's not like hacking is a new concept. It's been there in other games, but not the way Watch Dogs presented it. It also gave you an entire world to explore, right? And there was not just one set way that you could go about your mission. And also they've added so many more elements to the game. Like you know, you can now use drones and you can, you know, hack cars. And these are just to name a few, by the way, I'm being very general about it. There's obviously a lot of other stuff that's been added. The last game didn't disappoint. I was pretty happy with it. So I'm really looking forward to Watch Dogs 2. And it looks beautiful as shiz. Here, we distract all these people by sending messages to their phones. I am never checking my messages again. Take back the night to restore this city to the glory that it held long before this. He took our responsibility from us. At number five. We have Batman from Telltale Games. Now, I've been a huge fan of Telltale since the day I played Walking Dead Season 1. There is no denying that this game literally revolutionized the adventure game scene, alright? I couldn't believe how much of a connection I had with the characters in the game. And everything starting from art direction to game direction to uh, story and character development and everything was so perfect that I literally wanted to sit back and just soak up the game because that's how the that's how good the game really is and telltale is going to be releasing batman really and i'm not going to buy it of course not that's the first thing that i'm going to buy the moment telltale releases batman now obviously it's not going to be all action it's not going to be all hur, hur. okay that's not batman sounds but okay you get my point right i don't even know what it sounds like but anywho now, there isn't a lot of information about the game except for a few screenshots which look amazing, by the way. It's more than enough <laughs> to get me excited. So, that is number 5 on the list and I'm super excited for this game. It'll be fun watching this unfold. What will you do with the power I've given you? How will you make your mark on this wretched world? At number four, we have Dishonored 2. The whole conspiracy where the queen gets assassinated and her daughter Emily gets kidnapped, which is when Corvo, the queen's bodyguard, comes to the rescue and he uses his magical powers and he's stealthy and this and that and he kicks everyone's ass. That's all really good and fine. But Dishonored 2 promises to push it way beyond that. Not only are they getting tons of other magical powers into the game, like this one called Domino, which Emily has, wherein she can tag few people, and whatever she does to this one person happens to everyone. That's one badass superpower. But get this, that's not what I'm most excited for. You can play the game as either Corvo, or Emily and it gets even better if you play as Emily you get a different perspective on the entire game 
And if you play as Corvo, you get another different perspective on the entire game. So you can literally finish the game by playing as Emily and then play the entire game again by playing as Corvo. And it gets even better. There are two factions in this game, the Overseers who are religious nuts and the Howler Gang. Now you can choose to join either of these factions or choose to not join at all. If you join as Overseers, you get a different perspective on the game, you get a different storyline. If you join as a Howler, you get a different perspective. And if you don't, you get another perspective. It's like multiple storylines in one and this is something that is so awesome. And I really want to explore this and this is why I'm so excited for Dishonored 2. I'm definitely going to pick it up. That one was Mark too. We must be getting close. Just hold on. At number three is The Walking Dead Season 3. Now, there isn't a whole lot of information out there, except for the fact that this game has been made on a new engine. And there is a small teaser trailer that's out, which shows Clementine and a dude called Javier, who is apparently really important to the storyline. But what really caught my attention is why does Clementine not have a finger? Why? Why does she not have a finger, Telltale? What did you do to her? If you do anything to her, I'm gonna buy the game anyway, that's all I'm saying. Why did we choose this life? Why did we become superheroes? We dedicate our lives to fighting crime for one reason. To make a billion dollars on a superhero franchise. At number two is South Park. The Fractured Butthole. See what they did there? See what they did there? There's a plane flying overhead. I have played South Park The Stick of Truth and I laughed all the way from the beginning till the end. This game is just a battle of laughs. It's just fun. Alright? And here's the deal. It actually feels like you are in the show. And South Park the fractured butthole <laughs> is not that far off. And that is something that I love about it. The story of this game has been written by the creators of South Park themselves. Trey Parker and Matt Stone wrote the story for this game. This dork, like wearing a little crown? Does this look like a superhero to you? <sighs> all right, all right, have a seat, douchebag. Not there. That's Mysterion Seed. Not there either, stupid. All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. So if you are a true South Park fan, or you have no idea about what South Park really is, it doesn't matter. This game is gonna be awesome, I know it. All right, it cannot go wrong. The day I finished playing South Park The Stick of Truth, I wanted a sequel then and there. And I want it right now, and which is why I'm super excited for this. And this definitely is number two on my most excited games list. Come touch me like I'm an ordinary man. Have a look in my eyes. Underneath my skin, there is a violence. It's got a gun. Hands. Ready to make, ready to make breath, ready to make sense of anyone, anything, anyone, anything, anyone, anything, anyone, anything, anyone, anything. And at number one, we have Cyberpunk 2077. After playing Witcher 3, all expansions, everything, countless hours, I am now a die-hard fan of CD Projekt Red 
and 2077 is something that these guys have been developing since 2012 or maybe maybe even earlier who knows apparently in this game you progress through time and this is just a glimpse of how detailed this game actually is suppose you buy a gun right in this game in the year 2020 in the game throughout the years that you progress you will actually see different modifications based on the timeline that you are progressing in so if you are in the year 2050 you will get different modifications for that one weapon and they have massive amount of weapons in this game so this is just an idea of how detailed this game is going to be and how much time and effort cd project red has been spending on this game because this is the most ambitious project ever ever and i thought Witcher 3 was the pinnacle of it all but no and these guys have been so secretive about the whole thing also there is not even a single gameplay video anywhere not even a single screenshot except for the 3d models used in the trailers oh yeah the trailer there's a single trailer that was released in 2012 and which is the only information that we really have of the game and that excites me even more rumors have it that in 2017 cd project red might grace us with something about the game so that the fans don't die anyway guys these were the six games that i'm really excited for do you agree with the list do you disagree with the list whatever it is whatever comes to your mind do jot it down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video do leave a like and if you want more stuff from me do click on that subscribe button I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, which is pretty soon. See you.